Hi guys, this is SL2 Remapping and welcome to a second video in how to import a file back into Flashpoint after it's been modified by us and we upload it to Portal. So basically all you do is, once you've got your file back with your, with your text message saying it's available, download it. Once you've downloaded it, put it onto your desktop. You'll notice this has come back as a raw file. Reason for this is obviously you've uploaded an ID file. Uh, this particular car or an Audi uh, Q7, which is an ID file, basically meaning that when we get the when we get the file from yourselves, we have to find the stock file from Dimsport server, then modify this original file, which creates then a mod file at the same time. So basically, to open this program, you'll need WinRAW. You'll have to download this unless you've already got it installed on your PC. So all you do is you double click it, inside you'll see two files. Select both of these two files and drag them onto your desktop. Close this bit down. Once you've obviously got them onto your desktop, you open up at the top of your screen or wherever you've got it, you've got a, uh, an inbox shortcut. Open this, drag both your files into it, close this down, go to Flashpoint and open it. The top of the screen you see in and out. Click in, it already tells you it's selecting it and in importing it from the inbox. Press OK. You can see now that the files appeared below it. M means modified, so the modified file, which is the one that you want to write to obviously upgrade the vehicle's performance. The top one now has changed from O, but to I and O. Basically, O means original and I means ID. So basically, it's just telling you now it is an original file in there. In, if any case in future you need to return to stock, you can basically just highlight it, write to Genius, return the vehicle, vehicle back to 100% stock. What we do now is we select the one that's M for modified, write to Genius. Obviously, we aren't updated as Genius, but if you update, Genius is updated, you won't see this message. This now shows you it's right into Genius. And that's it, it's now complete. All you do now is disconnect your Genius from PC, go back to vehicle, select work and programming and just follow the instructions. It's as easy as this. I hope this helps a lot of you dealers out. Bye.